Welcome back to GIS analysis at the University of Alaska Fairbanks. In the last session, we used the con tool to ask questions about the attribute or the value of individual rasters. In this session, we're going to use a tool called the raster calculator, which allows you to ask questions about more than one raster. So the raster calculator sees all the raster layers in your active data frame. And then we could ask questions about any or all of these raster layers in your active data frame. So for example, let's ask the question, for all the cells that have a random number greater than one and have a test value above 60, return the random value. So our first question is, is this have a value of one? So that will return a one if it's yes, a zero if it's false. Take that and we'll ask the question, is the test raster have a value above 60? So that will return a one if the question is true, a zero if the question is false, and then take that times the random raster. So then basically we would have a zero and one for true or false, a zero and one for true and false. So if this is true, it's a one. If this is true, it's a one. So one times one times random raster will give us our output. And I'll call that raster calculator and I'll put it in our test geo database. So that returns these cells. Let's give them some different symbology. So that we have those cells and then we could use the identify tool to check. So identify tool and let's look at all visible layers and we'll turn all layers on. So for example for this pixel or this cell it had a value of 1 which would be true for our first question a value of 91, so that's greater than 60 for our second question. So then we get the random raster value and that is output. The next one had no data because our first question was no data. So that's how we can ask questions about many rasters at one time using the raster calculator. The other Thing the raster calculator is useful for is here we've got cells that are no data. Occasionally you want to change those no data cells to some other value. So for example, we want to change these no data cells to zeros. We can easily do that using the raster calculator. So I will output it. It'll be my raster calculation where no data becomes zero. And then what we could do is we could use the con tool in the raster calculator. So con, and then we could use a function, which is is null. So that's asking a question. Is the cell null? And the cell we're talking about is our raster calculation layer. So then that's cell, if the question is true, is it null? return a zero. If it's not null, keep the original value. So that's the other thing that the raster calculator is useful for is we could apply different geoprocessing tools like con and is null in one expression. So basically here's one geoprocessing tool which returns a one if it's true, it's no data, a zero if it's false, and then if it's true, assign the pixel value of zero, otherwise retain the original pixel value.